people, what do you do if they don't give you their email address? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about when you're cold calling, okay? Because a lot of my program is focused around doing weekly emails, okay? And we're calling prospects to see how they're doing, get to know them, you know, find out more about them and wanna get that email address so that we can send weekly emails. We're also gonna be doing mass text, okay? But we wanna do weekly emails, so the email, the cell phone number, something we're going for, and what if, what if when we're doing this, we have this great conversation and then they won't give us their email address. That's what I wanna talk about today because so many of you are asking me this question and I just have to let it out on a video. I also wanna link two videos that are really gonna help you with the same subject. One is how to get property owners email addresses, okay, really important. Also, the second video is why open rates for emails do not matter, okay? Two really big topics. If you would like this video, shoot me a comment, let me know what you think about the subject, give me your two cents. Okay, so here we are, we're making our calls, we're doing what we're supposed to do, we're having these great conversations and nobody's giving us our, their email addresses. What's going on, what's the problem? You know, why won't they give us their email addresses? And so when this happens, especially when you're a new cold caller and they won't give you the email address, you start to kind of doubt yourself and you start to kind of doubt the process and you start to kind of think, does this really work? Does this cold calling, circle prospecting, expire, whatever you're doing, does this really work or not? Um, or am I just not good at this? Or do people just not like me? Or maybe it just doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for other people, but it just doesn't work for me. So that's what I want to get into today. I think that the biggest problem here, the biggest issue, is not about why they didn't, you know, give you the email address or, you know, what what you can do with people who won't give you the email address because a lot of you are saying, well, what do you do if they don't give you their email address? You know, do you just follow up by phone calls? Do you put them on a, a postcard campaign or how do you what do you do to follow up with those people? Okay? And I think that it's not what do you do when they won't give you the email address, you know? Because I think the conversation that we're having is a great conversation at the end you ask for the email address and then they say you know no I don't I don't want to do that or you know just stay in touch with me by phone I think that's probably the biggest one you know just call me you know just call me uh, I don't want to give out my email address and so you're sitting here thinking I just had a great conversation they were probably sincere with they just don't like giving out their email address they want me to call them but that's not necessarily the case all right, if, you, if we did what we were supposed to do to make them feel comfortable with us and really make that connection, they're gonna want to give us their email address. Not every time, okay, not every time, but you know, most of the time, you're gonna get the email address. So it comes more of a question of, did we really connect? Or, you know, did, did we really connect? Or did we not connect? And the prospect just met, kinda made us feel like we connected because they didn't wanna be mean to us. They didn't wanna be rude to us. They didn't wanna just hang up. They didn't wanna just say, don't call anymore. They just didn't want to say, uh, you know, whatever the, whatever the case may be, you know, which was it? All right. And so I think we need to realize that there may be a connection problem here. Okay. Before we start trying to figure out how we're going to follow up with people who don't give us their email addresses. Okay. So we want to start getting better at connecting and this doesn't happen in the first hundred calls, thousand calls, 5,000 calls. You got to keep calling and you're going to get to a point where it just flows. All right. I know that I can make calls and even when I made calls in San Diego live calls, I'll link that video below because that was a massacre. Okay. The, the agent that I hooked up with, he, he had me calling in a 55 and up community. Um, so it wasn't very favorable situations there, you know, market I've never called in, but by the end of the call session, I, I had, I changed the tone. You know, the first couple calls were, were harsh, but by the end of the call session, I, you could tell I was already switching up my tone. If, if you gave me, you know, two or three days in any market, okay, sure. The first hour, call sessions not going to be great it might be 
but chances are I'm gonna have to make some adjustments with the tone of my voice, the speed of my voice, you know, everything, maybe even the words, the whole nine yards. But what we have to understand is, is that we have to make enough calls and adjust our communication skills to make people feel comfortable with us. All right, we have to keep adjusting, keep tweaking, keep moving, keep trying, and just keep having that great intentions. That great intentions is what's gonna come back to you full-fledged, so just keep pushing. But at the end of the day, I think it's more of a, a connection problem than anything. Now, let's talk about asking for the email address because a lot of you, you know, don't have this part down. But when I ask for the email address, I'm not asking for the email address, I'm asking to stay in touch with them. I say, hey, is it okay if I stay in touch with you? And then I pause, I'm waiting for them to tell me it's okay. Before I ask them, okay, what's a good email address for you? And I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna put, let me send you market information, let me send you a market update every week. I don't wanna say that because that's gonna be a red flag to them that we're just gonna put them on this drip campaign, they probably get four or five or 10 other ones and they don't want any more. But when you make it sound personable and you say, I wanna stay in touch with you, yeah, sure, okay, good, what, what's a good email address for you? Okay, then that flows a little better and is a lot more likely to produce an email address for you. So not a long video today, but you you guys are asking me this a lot so I wanted to kind of give you my two cents on it and give you these other two videos the how to get property owners email addresses and why email open rates don't matter whatsoever I think those are two really good videos that you should go and watch get out there and crush it today let me know what in the world I can do for you send me your results DM me on Instagram or leave a comment below and let me know how you're doing let me know how many listings you got this month let me know what your years looking like let me know what your goals are for the year. Just let me know something. Let me know you're alive. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.